On Sunday, in a special Songs of Praise from Dunblane Cathedral, Scotland, the Reverend Dr Colin Morris leads a service with representatives from all the major churches in Scotland which will look forward to the search for a just peace in the Middle East. Thursday night on one, and in Top of the Pops, Kylie Minogue, Soho, a nomad. At 7.30, Mark and Diane make an important date. You haven't forgotten the counselling session? Of course not. Three o'clock on the dock. Oh. At eight o'clock, Tomorrow's World takes to the sea on board an unsinkable lifeboat, undergoing trials off the Aberdeen coast. In the British Empire at 8.30, it's business as usual. A burst radiator pipe, don't move, I'm on my way. <laughs> At 9.45, Granville reveals a secret wish. You know what I want for my birthday? A balalaika. I'll see if I can get one uh, knitted for you. <laughs> In question time at 10.15, Peter Sissons is joined by Edward Heath, Shadow Chancellor John Smith, Max Hastings, and Sarah Parkin of the Green Party. At 11.15, our film, Don't Look Now. I've seen her, and she wants you to know that she's happy. A supernatural thriller for Thursday night on One. Back to tonight's film now and the farcical attempts of Barbara Streisand and Michael Sarazin to make ends meet, for Pete's sake. You are coming with me! I'm going home, Gloria. I've had enough. I need an unknown, pretty young man. If you could tell me... I've already told you, Liz. Escort duty, that's all. Like royalty, Liz. Gentlemen in waiting. I'm no Puritan. But he's an innocent boy. Are you tail to that woman? This is all naughty and big ears. I am. So, it's very nice to meet you. English? Yes. You can't have everything. Dennis, in here, chum. Naughty and big ears, eh? Melbourne Confidential provide a personal service in The Boys from the Bush, Friday, 9.30 on 1. Now on BBC One, we join Martin Lewis for the latest Gulf News. The first major ground battle of the Gulf War is continuing tonight around the Saudi Arabian town of Al-Hafji. That's all from the newsroom tonight. Radio 2 will be on air right throughout the night, and Radio 4 is broadcasting the world service. CFAX will continue to be updated on BBC One. Breakfast News will be on the air from 6 o'clock in the morning. But that's it from the newsroom tonight. Good night. Well, looking ahead to Thursday on BBC One, we discover a mixed bag. Kylie Minogue, Soho and Nomad are top of the pops at seven. The nine o'clock news is flanked on both sides by some light relief from the British Empire at 8.30 and at 9.45 by open all hours. That's except for viewers in Scotland and Northern Ireland. Question Time's guests at 10.15 are former Prime Minister Edward Heath, Shadow Chancellor John Smith, Sarah Parkin of the Green Party and Max Hastings. And highly recommendable at 11.15 is Nicholas Rudd's Chilling Don't Look Now. Julie Christie and Donald Sutherland are the bereaved parents on a supposedly recuperative trip to wintry Venice, but alas, they get caught up in the occult with bizarre and tragic consequences. Now, a check on the weather. Patchy rain, sleet and snow will affect parts of the southwest, Wales and northern England overnight. The rest of England will be mainly dry and cloudy, but Northern Ireland and Scotland will be clear and frosty with some freezing fog patches. Where freezing fog patches do occur tonight, it'll also become quite icy with a hard frost in the clearer northern and western regions. Even where it stays cloudy, temperatures will be at or just below freezing. Tomorrow will be another cold, dull day across much of England and Wales with just a little sleet or drizzle, mainly in the north and west. In contrast, Scotland, the far north of England and Northern Ireland will be dry and quite sunny, with just a few showers in the far northwest. Well, with the time at uh, 1.36, it's high time we shut up shop here, and staying up all night with music and news on the hour is Radio 2. But for now, on behalf of all of us here on BBC One, this is Yvonne O'Grady wishing you a very good night. <laughs>